Hello, I'm Mark Silver. In the previous video, we processed very short baselines around Chicago, one hour files. In this video, let's process some longer files with some much longer baselines. So I've got um, four stations in Florida for four hour files. They start on January 31st, 2018 and go from 1700 to 2100. So these are four hour files. Uh, looks like GPS only observations. Again, all four of these files are from NGS core sites. And we're going to use the beta 14 coordinates for them. So let's make a new project. Let's call this Florida 4. And for our coordinate system, choose Florida, so go America, USA, add 8386, and I think Florida East is going to be just as bad as Florida West. It's kind of a large area, so we'll choose Florida East, select it, confirm it, and go to the GNSS tab. Let's import our four files. We'll choose just the Rhinox. Okay, our files have been imported. The antenna heights are right. The manufacturer and the antenna types are correct. So we do on those. Let's look at the timeline here. So we'll click on GNSS and then Data Graph Observation Timeline. See, we've got the four hour files. Let's go back and let's set station DLND to be a control point. So we'll go to stations, we'll highlight that line, right click and choose convert to control point. Then I'm going to click on control point, select DLND, and I've got the coordinates right here. Copy that. Uh, we're going to constrain latitude, longitude, and height. Okay, let's get the longitude. Be sure and leave that W in there so that when you tab out. Great. We'll confirm those changes. And let's process the baselines. We'll do it quickly with the 60 second interval defaults. Okay, the baselines have been calculated. Let's take a look at them. Those we'll certainly look good. Those look good. And, well, I mean, you know, that is 1.2 millimeters. I think we'll let that slide. I think we're good to go. Let's adjust. And I'm not going to, because there's four hours of data, I'm not going to change the interval on this. I think 60 seconds or 30 seconds, whatever the default is, is just fine. Um, let's go to the adjustment. And let's just do the auto. Click on adjust. And let's open the 3D constrained. In here and get these values here. Okay, I'll stop the video here. I'm going to generate a table of the state plane coordinates for these stations and uh, I'll start the video up again and we can see how we did for results. One moment. I'm back! During the break, I processed or converted all of the latitude and longitude coordinates for the core stations into Florida East NAT 83 meters. Those are tabulated here. And then I calculated the difference from CGO2's result to the NGS. And you can see they're amazing. You know, a centimeter here, a couple centimeters there. Remember, this is a four hour occupation and the baselines, let's go back and look at these baselines. The baselines are huge. 
130 kilometers, 170 kilometers, 306 kilometers, 435 kilometers. Let's, let's look at the map here. Bring in a background map. Um, let's use Bing Vector. You see, we've, we've covered most of Florida here. Uh, we held the center one at DLND, and then these three stations here are unconstrained. So I, I think, let's go back here, I think that this solution is absolutely, unbelievably good. Um, the elevations are a little wacky, but I thought, well, you know, it's Florida, and elevations are a little wacky in Florida. Let's compare this job to GNSS Solutions, because GNSS Solutions is a favorite of many people who are going to be in the market for CGO2. So um, I'll show you here. I've got my dongle for GNSS Solutions. I processed the same job, and I fixed DLND. And here, I'll show you if you're really interested in the vectors. You know, the vectors and the confidence intervals for them. But back to my summary, um, here are the GNS Solutions adjusted results, and I calculated the difference to NGS for GNSS Solutions here. And is this cool or what? CGO actually matches the northings better. It matches the eastings better and well it's about the same for the elevations again elevations in florida are kind of wacky and you're probably wondering well, why would mark say that about the florida elevations now let's let's look here at fort meyer and we'll look at the short term bam yeah you know, that's not like the best we've ever seen. Let's look at uh, LAUD, Lauderdale, time series short term. Well, again, it's not the prettiest sight in the world. Let's look at Tallahassee, T-A-L-H. Short term. I mean, I, I, you just never know what's going on in Florida. So um, let's close GNSS solutions. By the way, it took over an hour to process these six, six vectors in GNSS solutions. Um, I went away and had lunch. Back to CGO. CGO does a pretty good job. It's easy to use. Anyway, um, hope you enjoyed this video. In the next video, we're going to be messing around with antenna calibrations.